Well, it has been one month now since the war started between Israel and Hamas, and thousands gathered in Tel Aviv to honor the lives lost during a candlelight vigil. People in Israel gathered in Hambia Square and filled the ledge of the fountain with candles, flowers, and gifts for their loved ones. Since October 7th, more than 1.5 million people have been displaced, and officials say more than 10,000 people have been killed in Israel. Bombards, as Israel, I should say, bombards the Palestinian enclave. Israel's prime minister is still ignoring the calls for a ceasefire, but says his country was open to, quote, little pauses. Meanwhile, here at home, hundreds from the Jewish community gathered for a vigil of their own. Our Jacqueline Francis was there, joins us live with the message that was shared tonight. Jacqueline. This gathering looked to humanize the hostage crisis, putting a name and a face to the more than 240 people taken against their will, their fate unknown. Dror Katz, Ravid Katz, Aviv Katz Asher, Dafna Garanovich, Carmel Gatz. That it's not just 242. That it's adults and children. It was a packed house, but some seats were left empty. We are raising up our voices to remind the world to not forget them. Metro Detroit's Jewish community came out to remember the more than 240 people being held hostage in Gaza. Um, as we lift up posters like this, every kidnapped individual will have uh, a moment to have their name read for us to raise them up together. And I know someone on each row. One of the speakers, a former grade school teacher near Gaza, personally knows 23 of the taken. I have students, 11 and 12 year old kids that were taken. I know families, friends. My cousin's son was taken. I was her homeroom teacher when she was in second grade. She told the room about the kids, their families, and the reality they're now facing. There's nobody that came to check if they're okay. Are they healthy? Are they getting their medications? Are the kids being taken care of? There are three-year-olds there. There are babies there. I have a four-year-old at home, a four-year-old that in a different situation could have been there. Everybody needs to do everything possible to bring them home. As you can imagine, it was an emotional night, though many did take comfort in coming together as a community. Reporting live in Farmington Hills, Jacqueline Francis, Local 4. All right, Jacqueline.